any new video because my exams are coming but today I am uploading one video related uh, to my study and it's a powerpoint presentation of geography how season occurs so watch till end how season occurs so let's see what are the season and how they occur does sun actually moves have you ever observed that the position of the sun at the sunrise appears to be changed every day? But actually, sun does not move anywhere. Th that is why this movement of sun is called apparent movement of the sun. What is Dakshinayan and Uttarayan? When the position of the sun keeps moving towards the south in the period from 21st June to 22nd December, this is called Dakshinayan. And when Sun moves towards the north from 22nd December to 21st June. This is called Uttarayan. Here is a Dakshinayan and Uttarayan diagram. Perihelion is the radian position of the earth. The orbit of the revolution of the earth is elliptical. As the earth moves in an ellipse, its distance from the sun does not remain same. It is at its closest point in the first week of Jan. This is called perihelion. Aphelion position of the earth. The earth is at its farthest point in the first week of July. This position of earth is called aphelion. This is the diagram of perihelion and aphelion. When the earth is at its perihelion position, the distance between sun and earth is 147.1 million kilometer. And when it is at its aphelion position, the distance between sun and earth is 152.1 million kilometer. What are equinox? As the earth revolves, the equator receives perpendicular rays on, on two days in a year. These days are 21st March and 23rd September. On these days, both poles are at the equal distance from the sun. These are equinox. What are solstice? On 21st June and 22nd December, the sun rays fall perpendicular to the no, Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. These two days are solstice. So here is a diagram of equinoxes and solstice. Occurrence of season. Season have been decided on the basis of duration of sunlight, equinoxes and solstice. Season occur due to the revolution and tilted axis of the earth. Thank you. So guys, if you like my presentation, then please like my video. And if you are new on channel, then please do subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. And uh, please comment me below in comment section. Your comments are motivational for me to upload new videos. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.